Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and push that notification bell. As of next week, so for everyone, as of next week, I will be posting Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 6pm Great British Standard Time. Um, this is going to be my new schedule for now and I will be doing Vlogmas. It has been confirmed. I have decided I will do Vlogmas again this year. So stay tuned for daily videos throughout, well, up to the 25th of um, December anyway from the 1st but my new schedule will be Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays at 6pm Great British Standard Time and then I will also post <coughs> my blogs if you follow my blogs then they will be on a Tuesday and a Thursday and then my Instagram will be seven days a week again still like normal so I hope you enjoy if you aren't familiar with all my so social medias like my blog and Facebook, everything like that is all in the description box down below. So please go and check that out. And if you are have been a subscriber for a while, or as Louise Pentland would say, an oldie but goldie, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this video too. And today I will be sharing my favourites for October. And there's a complete variety again for what I have liked and enjoyed this month because Everything can be a favourite, absolutely anything can. It doesn't have to be a um, particular thing. So fashion, beauty, anything. It can be absolutely anything. So I've got a variety here and I'm going to show you them all now. So I'm gonna start with like lifestyle-y, I guess. And the first thing I have picked, which I just obviously mentioned her name, Louise Pentland. It's her second book, Wild About the Girl. And this is her second one. If you haven't read the first one, I'd advise you read that first, which is Wild About Me, I think. I'm sure that is Wild About Me. Um, Wild. It's about Robin Wild and her life with her seven-year-old daughter. Um, like a bit of a romance, but it is an easy book to get on with. And I read this in about two days on holiday, but I love it and I can't wait for book number three. And she's also going to do a sequel, which will be the story of Lila, which is the little girl. So I can't wait for book number three on this, Louise. It was amazing. It made me laugh, cry, smile throughout. And even though I couldn't, I haven't got the same sort of thing, I could kind of feel the same emotions and stuff like that so I just love this book so much and it's definitely my favourite um, and I'm going to lend it to my sister now she's got to actually read the first one first but I've got that too so she's going to um, be lent both and read them but they are really good easy to get into and you can't put them down once you've got hold of them so this is definitely my favourite in like that sort of book fiction book the next thing I have got which surprisingly I wasn't sure about but I went for it because it was all about craft and creating and stuff like that but that's this is Cordonly Invited by Zoe Sugg so Zoella it is not just for like the fall so autumn it is for the whole year round and it has all different ideas in it um from like easter egg hunts to soups to absolutely everything in here ideas for everything set in the table everything and there's some some really nice recipes i want to try in here as well as like instagrammable drinks let me try and find the drink one so yeah i, I really want to do this and i think i'll probably do it with uh, my niece and nephew but that sunday looks really instagrammable anyway but delicious it's got all different ideas in it and I even like like the photos because if you didn't know my mum is my photographer and sometimes my sister is but mainly my mum and uh, my mum does photography courses and wants to get more into photography so a lot of her my instagram stuff is from my mum so this also gives me ideas and styles to for me to adapt and create to my own stuff like style so i can't wait to to, to use this book more there's a tomato and ginger soup that I really want to try and make um, because as I don't really like tomato soup on its own it I don't know really why but I just don't but I like um, the sound of the adding the ginger to it so yeah and this is I thought was a good present as well to give someone to for Christmas especially if they're getting into being a bit more creative and like baking and stuff like that 
uh, just because it's got so many ideas in it and it's not just for Christmas or for autumn it is for the whole year round and all different ideas so then they're my kind of books I've liked this month and then what I've really liked I don't obviously watch much TV um, I don't really know why I probably just don't have enough time to sit down and watch a, a a film or watch something on the TV but I have been loving Strictly Come Dancing this year um, I don't know why but I have really got into that and it would have been like a a program that I would have like missed if I was out but this year I have gone back and watched just googled or YouTube the um, dance dancer that of the, that week that I want to watch and I'll go and watch it on YouTube if I do miss it but I do really enjoy that and I do like sitting down, winding down on Saturday night if I am in um, and watching that. So that is really what I've been loving. I actually think Joe Sugg, which is Zoe's um, brother, is really good. Um, but I also, there is quite a good competition in it so far. If you're American, Strictly Come Dancing is the same as Dancing with the Stars. It's just our version. But I really like the um, celebrities on it this year as well as like the dancers and I just really am getting into that show. So that is what I've been loving for TV and books and stuff like lifestyle -y. Then the next thing I have got which is really, well it's not random but there's quite a lot of beauty and like skincare, self care type stuff this month rather than fashion. Which is unusual for me at the moment. But the first thing I've picked is this Feather and Down Sweet Dreams Pillow Spray and it's with Carmen Lavender, Chamomile and Essential Oils. So this is the package. It lasts a good while. I spray it on my pillows each night um, and this is the bottle of it. Um, and I literally just squirt a few sprays on my pillows because um, I tend to lie in, in the middle of the bed at, bed at the moment. So it's handy. I didn't take this on holiday with me. And I slept worse that week actually. I don't know if it was just a different location, the noises of other people um, around us in the hotel. Um, there was a lot of like cyclists there and they like to get up at 4.15 and clug the bike down the stairs which wakes you up. But um, I had a few nightmares and um, disturbed sleeps I guess. So this has really helped. Um, I use this all the time at home anyway. I don't know why I didn't take it. I guess because I wanted to test it out to see if it did really work or not and the answer to this is yes it does work and I'd advise you get that I got that from Boots but it is available on Amazon too um, and also I do a blog post on this I just mentioned this now I do a blog post on this so all of the information is in my blog and I put all the links to it too so if you want to um, you can go and buy them through them links so I will do that again this month and that will be out on my blog and the a post will be in the description box down below. Then the next things I have been loving are like shampoo and conditioner and smellies. So like shower gel. Um, now I have used Boots' own range before for shampoo and conditioner. But I've never tried this, I was going to say flavour, scent. Raspberry and goji berry shampoo. Uh, it's quite a big bottle um, and I've got the conditioner as well. Um, it was 75 it was 75p a bottle so whether it was conditioner or shampoo it was 75p which is really good because these bottles last me more than a month um because I don't wash my hair every day I did wash my hair every day on holiday but um normally I don't so this will last me about a month 75p I'm pretty sure is a deal that's an offer on at the moment so if you wanted to get some, go get it now because I think otherwise it goes up to one pound something. But these are really good, and I I had these in, I washed my hair with these every night on holiday, and they just smell amazing. They're like sweet but refreshing, I guess, like fruit like, um, and they just smell so good. And then the combination of them with this, which I have got, which again was on offer. I think it was one pound five p, which is the. Uh, Bayless and Harding Beauty Ecology Frosted Sprinkles Shower Cream and this smells so good you smell like I literally washed my hair and then I put this on to wash my body and stuff and I just smelled like a cupcake basically coming out um, it is very sweet um, 
scent again it's a very sweet um smelling but it's really nice um it really didn't cause much of a problem with my skin because i have got sensitive skin and they do it in other ones too they've got neat and mess they've got a unicorn one which i'm not sure on the flavor and there's a tropical one there's all different ones basically but this one has been my favorite this month and again it's a big bottle so it'll last me more than one month um for when i have a shower they also do soap and creams um, and bath bath bubbles and stuff like that in that brand and scent so it is worth looking out they also have christmas gift sets which are lovely then moving on i know this is something that you all found out or some of you found out in my get to know me tag um and you found out that i can dress make and yes i have been dress making and i'm not going to show you something i've made because it will be coming out in my uh, Mallorca or Porta Palenza um, lookbook that will be coming this week uh, it should be next week actually um, uh, it'll be Monday Wednesday or Friday so look out for that because the dungarees in that video I made um, so yes I hope you really like them but I got this pattern well, I didn't actually I got this pattern from Tilly and the Buttons but I, ha I can dress make from scratch um, I've just not done it in a while um but i really love these patterns because they're more like modern rather than old-fashioned i guess pattern i got for my dungarees and because i'm only five foot four um i'm quite short so this pattern did come up too long for me so i had to adjust it anyway but i did love making these and i want to make them again in denim and then i have got three other patterns so far which make more than one thing this just makes dungarees but the others make dresses and skirts two types of skirts four times of time types of tops as well um so watch out for a tilly and the buttons uh, lookbook i will do one of them when i have made a few more things so look out for that because that will all be homemade or handmade by myself but I have really been enjoying the dressmaking. I've wanted to get back into it for a while and I really enjoy making it. So I'm really pleased with the dungarees that I've made. So yeah, I just can't wait to make some more. And in fact, I am making a dress tomorrow. My grandma wants to help me. So I'm going to my grandma's house to make them with her. And um, I will probably be doing like a weekend vlog again. So like flowers, flowers face masks and finesse couldn't remember what i called it i think i'll be doing another one like that so look out for the uh three words or things phases to bring together a new vlog like a weekend vlog and i hope you enjoy that and that will have a bit of my dressmaking in, in it from tomorrow so hopefully you'll enjoy that too so the next thing i have been loving is where it's getting colder in the uk um, I'm loving baggy jumpers. Most of you have probably seen this jumper from my Instagram. It is very old. It is my Topshop one, Mon Ami, on the, and it just says something like be happy or I am happy on the back. This is Topshop. It's really old, but if you could find your own, I don't know what colour pink to call this, but this colour pink um, jumper, oversized, you could easily embroider your own saying on it, which actually I think it would be a good DIY for myself to do. But I have got some new clothes that I brought in Spain too, which the haul will be up next week, if not this week. And there's a new jumper in that because this is, I'm a size 10, UK 10 to 12. This is a UK 10 and it is really big on me but I have got some new jumpers and stuff like that so I'm just loving jumpers I'm loving being cozy and warm and comfy um so I've been loving jumpers and this must be my favorite one and then the last thing I've got is food like related um and unfortunately I can't show you any of them because one the one of them's in the freezer and I'm not I um, don't need one tomorrow so I'm not getting it out to defrost and the second thing I had every day on holiday and it has to be my favorite so the first thing i'm picking in fact actually both of them are from holiday i would say i've been loving so the first thing is croissants so i had a croissant i had them on holiday i had them for breakfast but 
for my lunch time uh like for my lunch at work i've been having a croissant with ham in it and it was it is really nice but on holiday i had cheese and ham in croissants and they were just lovely so it's basically giving me a change in what i can have for my lunch because lunch is what i find the hardest um i just get bored of what i have most of the time so this is just like jazzing it up i guess and making it a bit more interesting for me for now and the second thing i have been loving which i'm gonna google tonight and see if i can find a recipe to make never made it before but i want to make some because it was amazing i don't think you can get it in the uk they obviously made it up themselves but that was kinder bueno ice cream it was the best flavor i tried passion fruit yeah vegan passion fruit as well that was nice but the kinder bueno ice cream was amazing it just had such a strong taste to it like a nutty hazelnut taste but it had the chocolate mixed together it just had such a nice combination i guess of flavors together in the kinder bueno mixed in the ice cream and it had like lumps of the of the chocolate and the uh, wafer with it too so that was really nice and i am missing that now that's hence why i want to go and make some because i even at work today i had a white chocolate kinder bueno and it was just nothing on the ice cream but it just brought back memories of me wanting this ice cream even more so yeah and that is all my favorites for this month uh, please let me know in the comments down below your favourite this month or if you can't think of anything that's been your favourite please comment down below what your favourite out of all the things I have shown here what is your favourite thing you would like to try that I have suggested please also give this video a big thumbs up and push that notification button by subscribing and the bell and I will see you on saturday this week but next week remember i will be back i'm posting on mondays wednesdays and fridays until the end of the end of november the last week i will be posting monday wednesday friday saturday sunday before the start of vlogmas so thanks for watching bye